a blast from a past here on Son of a Boy Dad. We're tuning in on some Rush. Kicking off the weekend the right way with this some good old-fashioned Rush. This is the Tom Sawyer where they don't say the N-word. I like Rush, and I like Son of a Boy Dad, and I like the Smiths as well. Sue me. That sounds like shitty taste. I'll take one of the three, please. <laughs> and I'll let you decide, Son of a Boy Dad listener. Sucking on my daddy's dick. All righty, we are back. We are here at HQ4. It is November 29th, I believe, correct? No. No, that is not. That cannot be right. It's the, the 27th. 27th. It's you the 27th. Fool. I'm a damn fool. You damn dunce. You blundering dunce. You but yeah, we're here. yourself once again. I was peeing earlier. Have you guys ever peed and you lose control of your penis mid piss? Yeah. Like a like hose? Like the grips, the grip, de-grips. <laughs> like a fire hose? And then it's just an them. unleashed spray. And there's nothing, yeah, it's like a fire hose, exactly like that. It gets away from you and then it's just spraying all over the place. That's what just happened to me in the bathroom. Did you clean it up? Of course. <laughs> Where did it go? Where'd the pee go? My toilet seat acts like a funnel. <laughs> Or like a, a drain of sorts, but it just gathers in, it pools. It's angered in. Yeah. You ever have it happen so bad that you piss on the floor? Mm. That's happened to no, me. No, but I pissed all over myself before. Your pants? Yeah, my pants. That's because your penis is shaped like the shoe of an elf, and it curls back up towards your body. No. It's shaped false. like a gnarly ass wave that you could hang ten on. That's just simply untrue. You're, I've seen it a million times. Do you think it's weirder for uh, a parent... To bring their daughter into, I guess this is my question. I was in LaGuardia Airport and heard, huh? Heard, heard, seen. Like heard that you did. Like been there. That's what something that the kids are saying these days. Heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's on period. Yeah, exactly. Heard. Mm. So you're supposed to continue when I say heard. Well, you. It was very confusing because. <laughs> um, I didn't know what that word meant in that context. Heard? Seen. Seen, exactly. Yeah, like I see you. I think you need to save that for Roan. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Continue. <laughs> Unheard. <laughs> I reversed my herd. Well, there was a dad that brought his daughter into the bathroom at LaGuardia. Yeah. And there were like 20 dudes pissing. Oh, hot yeah. piss. Steam. How old was the girl? A lot of dicks out. 17? No. Josh Giddy age coming in there. To, they weren't like offering her up. Oh, okay. I see. No, she was just a little child. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so they brought he brought her in. Yeah, she's I don't know nine, eight, six. I don't fucking know. And I guess to me it felt like that's so traumatic. And I don't know what the option is as a father. Yeah, there really isn't one. I mean, I used to have to go to the bathroom with my mom all the time. Wouldn't you? rather that you bring your daughter into could could a man bring his daughter into the women's bathroom definitely not why not <laughs> absolutely not just you got her by the hand you go into one of the stall it's all stalls i'm There's sure no dudes have tried it i'm There's sure no urinals. Dudes have tried it that's to me less traumatic for the for the daughter it would be more traumatic when the daughter when the father gets arrested but <laughs> and brought into an interrogation room at LaGuardia. Just claim, you claim tea in that situation, though. No. Like, no, you don't understand. Not at LaGuardia. Wouldn't most of the women in there acknowledge that he had a young daughter? And, and hey, guys, I'm just bringing her in because I don't want her to be exposed to 13 penises in a row at a, at a urinal. Women do act like uh, if you go into their bathroom that they're just spread eagle vaginal lips flapping in wind. Like they're you're no, you're not seeing shit in a women's bathroom. Nothing. The most traumatic thing is you, you hear a fart. You, you hear, hear a woman lost, farting dude. and you're like, I didn't know you were capable. Common of this. misconception that men piss loud. Women piss like a fucking fire hydrant just exploded. <laughs> is that right, dude? Our bathroom in high school was the, the, the women's and the men's bathroom were right next to each other. And like there was like a probably like a three inch barrier between where you would piss and where the women would piss. And their pisses would be going through the like you would hear it through the wall. And you see wow. the steam rising yeah. off of it. They, it would literally sound like hot rise piss. Up, yeah, exactly. Rising up off the, off the seat. Yes. It would Levitating. sound like someone was fucking like someone just poured a bucket of water into the into the toilet. 
I can offer two better options for your LaGuardia, your LaGuardia guy. One, there's got to be family bathrooms. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. There three, you go. Three better options. Two, it doesn't matter how old that kid is. Just let them go to the fucking bathroom on their own. Mm-hmm. Nobody's snatching them up in the women's bathroom, especially a woman. Yeah, or truth. three, just... Uh, Ask a ask a woman that's going in, being like, "Hey, go buddy system with this. Like, just hold the yeah, girl's because hand." Because that's what I was thinking poops. is that you is you get you get some kind of a, a, a seeing eye person. Well, women do that all the time, and they they can't go to the bathroom on their own anyway. Can you accompany my daughter? Hey, yeah, come here, sweetie. Because women are not uh, genetically capable of being pedophiles. <laughs> That is true. They're not. It's only men that get that no. unfortunate uh, disease. <laughs> if a woman fucks a child, it's like, yeah, she got some young dick. Yeah, women in the bathroom are like high five and her. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, beast. You're the top bitch. <laughs> You're the top bitch for that. What? Yeah. What was it like? Describe it in gory detail. <laughs> How'd you do me? Well, I actually married my pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> That's a TLC show. Yeah. Good I, for you. I married my pedophile. <laughs> I, good for you. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're a boss bitch. Robbing the grave. You're serving cunt. What a she EO. <laughs> You're making her story. <laughs> <laughs> you're rewriting her story <laughs> it's true though they're not and like uh i mean it's obviously it's based by everyone everyone has heard this before but it's awesome for the kid <laughs> in, <laughs> in certain situations yes when i actually bad for the boy? i think we talked about this on that one episode where francis where rome was late uh-huh. we were talking about how like kids like fucking the teacher in high school how they all end up like trying to kill themselves like 10 years later oh well they're always uh because they probably just know they're never going to get pussy like that they're again. They're mostly mm. mustachioed totally Latin Americans. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like almost exclusively yeah. with sperm so strong that like the pre comes making triplets. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> but that's why she's attracted. It's biological. There's mm. a fucking sticker on my hat. Buy this Barstool merch for sure. It's not going to be 20% off when this comes out though. So just know you missed out big time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess you can wait until next year. Uh fucking johnny come lately's but yeah the uh the the woman teacher who does that i mean there were there were teachers i've been starting rumors about kids in my school that they fuck teachers yeah well i know that you had that one kid who's in the nfl now who's fucking the professor right no he's fucking or he was smooching who was the guy that was on tv yesterday and you were like he went to (laughs) my school olama de zacchaeus yeah and he was yeah, he didn't smooch nobody, bro. He was he was celibate yeah. through all of high school. He was smooching dudes. No, well, he was smooching we, d- men, dudes. Smoking bone. We had yeah. a we had a history teacher named uh, Deacon Ginn who uh, kissed boys on the lips, mm-hmm. and he uh, he was a, a larger black fellow, and his uh, his chair had like. Uh, is that like a black thing, though? It had like a grease stain, where it's... <laughs> no, no. Oh, I don't think that's a thing. It a isn't? Black well, thing. Birdman no. was doing that. Birdman was always kissing Lil Wayne. Yeah. This is You're basically. thinking of like Italian mafiosos. Like a little kiss on the cheek. They'll kiss each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in The Godfather, mm-hmm. when yeah. he's like, I knew it was you, Fredo, and you kiss yeah. him on the cheek yeah. while Cuba's falling. Have you seen or Godfather 2? Godfather 2 is so good. I watched Great it this movie. weekend. Oh, it's really? amazing. I watched it at like four in the morning this weekend. That's a classic. It, yeah, it's so instant. fucking good. I, I'd actually be able to, I think that's an instant classic. And you always find something new. You always find a little bit something extra. You mean, when you Easter say eggs. that that's an instant classic, <laughs> as opposed to what? It means you watch it once and you go, that's a fucking classic. That's a banger. <laughs> but I thought instant classic means it was a classic as soon as, as, soon as it, as came, it came out. out. <laughs> Do you mean to say that when you watched Godfather 2, you just liked it immediately? I liked it immediately. Instead of it taking a while to grow on you? Yeah. That's what you mean? 100%. It immediately took. Dude, why do you, you got marks on your wall, dude. Yeah, from you. <laughs> no, that's you, man. He's <laughs> fucking insane. There's shit everywhere. This place is a goddamn mess because of you two. <laughs> no, true. it's not from us. You don't even let us come hang out here. By the way, we went to Roan's house last night. Watched a little ball. Watched some ball. Good hang for the fellas. So, Even- so we did We did Roans last night, and then we're at Sass's today. I guess tomorrow, that means we got to go hang in my place. Yeah, we do. We have to hit the trifecta. Get over <laughs> there, sassy boy. Nah. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm never going to Brooklyn again. That was probably the last time I'll ever go to Brooklyn. I picked up Sass. I was driving back from New Jersey, and I came through the Holland Tunnel, and just as I was coming through the tunnel, he texted our group, 
all right, I'm leaving now to come over to Roan's place. And Roan and I live in the same building. So I said, hey, Sass, I'll come pick you up. Same dorm. And trying to coordinate with Sass where I was going to pick him up. Because Sass doesn't like to talk on the phone. Yeah, mm-hmm. he doesn't like to communicate. Or he'll just not answer. He'll text yeah. you. You call him. He doesn't answer. Yeah. So I said, listen, why don't you start walking down 8th Avenue? I'm going to come through the Holland Tunnel. Yep. And I will start driving up 8th Avenue to meet you. And he goes, okay, sounds good. Bye hangs up yeah and then we met up so now it's just a question of like me driving with my head on a swivel (laughs) trying to spot lil sasquatch on the busiest avenue in new york city first of all not even close eighth avenue actually doesn't even exist it's not even a real thing especially in this area it's one of the eight most busy um avenues. avenues For sure. And there's no way that Sass is walking down the street with his head up. I was. I was walking around because I lost my headphones the other day in the Uber. So I'm walking around and I'm looking for Francis. I'm looking for that Tesla. And then I finally see it. Flies yeah, by but we me. Yeah, but we did another call. We did another <laughs> call before that. And jets I said, by me. I said, what street are you on? You're like, I don't know, man. You were annoyed by my question. No, I, could, I really couldn't figure it out. I couldn't see because my were, vision is so poor. You were annoyed that I was asking you where you were as I was trying to pick you up so you wouldn't have to take an Uber. Untrue. Untrue. And then I, I was like, okay, well, you're there. Okay, I'm almost there. And then, of course, I went past him. You guys said that you were going to be over me. at 3.45. You got yeah. there at 5.15. Yeah. Well, I genuinely the traffic. think that coming from the West Village to your apartment room took us an hour and a half. It did. It took. Oh, it probably took us like an hour and 15. And we had we were in the front seat and uh, Kojai, our little French bulldog, as soon as Sass got in the car, he immediately climbed onto Sass's lap and wanted him to love him. And I said, Sass, are you a dog person? And he said, yeah, we've got lots of dogs. And 10 minutes later, Sass was like, I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> well, you said I mean, that? I get, like get, big dogs. Get the dog off of me. <laughs> I didn't you say that. that? He called it the I said, dog. I'm going to move the dog. The dog. Get get rid of the dog. I can't take this anymore. What? Well, it was because I, I was trying person. to watch because the game had already started. So I'm trying to watch the game and then the, my hand's falling asleep because the dog is sitting on it and it's a French bulldog. So they're all fucking... <laughs> you know, it's keep in mind upper respiratory issue yeah. that they can't control the dog was the dog was sitting <laughs> on the chair that was the dog's seat until <laughs> sass gets in the car to displace the dog who then just wants to love this you know young man so much hair on me too and he comes and sits on his lap and sass just says get get this thing this thing off you of get me. the dog off me well, it was, this, uh, i was dog. having trouble breathing because it was on dog. my stomach you were having trouble breathing Think about the fucking French bulldog, dude. Yeah. That thing's having trouble breathing. That thing's having way more trouble breathing than I am. Be a little bit considerate one time. You could have watched, you could have fucking wedged their, your phone in the back of the French bulldog's neck folds or something like that and been able to kill two birds with one. one I know. Stone. That's actually not a bad idea. I, I gotta, was resting it on its paw. I got to believe that if Sass had been part of My- Michael Vick's crew, he would have been the one holding them underwater. No. <laughs> he would have been God, like, no. what's a more creative way that we could do this, boys? Yeah. If we're not having enough fun with our, our executions. I he, like dogs. He'd I love probably dogs. be holding it underwater with one hand and then patting it with the other. <laughs> That's crazy. Trying to lull it into a sense of security. Yeah. I like dogs. I have, I have two dogs. My sister has two dogs. So every time I'm home, I'm with four dogs. It's a lot of fucking dogs. You told me yesterday that you don't you bathe your dogs once every three years. That is probably uh, not every once. Every, I'm also never home, so I don't know how much we bathe them. But I remember growing up, we we, we weren't bathing them every week. That doesn't sound like the behavior of someone who loves dogs. How how often do you bathe your dogs? Once a week, probably. That's crazy. Yeah, because you boys are city scum. What do you mean city scum? I don't want the dogs to be city scum. No. Stinky out, on the, out on the farm, for, you gotta for you what just let them worth, run free. No, build up for that what it's coat worth, of filth. We, we need to bathe the dogs more when we're out in the country. Really? Yeah. Are those fucking dogs going by right now, or is that a gaggle of high schoolers? It's probably a combination of both. What time is it? Yeah, it's three high schoolers. Let's go check it out, Francis. What do you see, boy? Hey, boy. What do you see, boy? What's that out there? That doesn't open, and neither does that. <laughs> no, don't. That, that that's sealed shut. Don't open it. Well, he can if it's that sealed. one's it's fully sealed, sealed shut, shut too. That one you can't open. So one of them must be a little bit open. All right, don't break the window. I promise you, it doesn't open. I think we can get it. No, it's it's painted over. No, I think you could have been able to get that. That one's never been able to open. The big one opens, but I sealed, it, I sealed it shut so that the, I the can, critters I could get couldn't get open. in. I could get that open. Wow, the critters were getting in? I thought they were getting in from there, but I don't think they were. I think they were getting in from the kitchen. But no <laughs> critters, dude. Every time I come home from like a week at home, 
every time I come back to the city, I'm expecting it to just be fucking like the mice, like that scene in The Wolf of Wall Street where Margot Robbie comes home and there's the gay orgy happening in her apartment. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I expect to be happening with mice in my apartment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get home and there's just going to be thousands of mice of all over mice. the place. Yeah. Just gay, gay little fucking rats running train on each oh, other. Yeah. I always think of the mice as the girls and the rats as the boys. Like yeah, the, the rats I could see fucking that. mice. You yeah. think rats fuck mice, or is it like what would they make rats a zebra? E rats actually eat mice. No. Yeah, I looked it up. I because I looked it up and I was like, are rats and mice like friends? Yeah, you'd think that they have very friends. similar habits. If it were to become a baby, would it be called a rice or a mat? Wow, Matt Rice, whose special was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Zing. <laughs> Sass, you didn't watch it. I did watch it. I loved it. Top comic. Matt you, Rice. No, I didn't watch it. Are you giving him top comic for the year? No, but I, I I don't know. I didn't watch it. I know his fans got really mad about it. And you know you know you got the wrong fan base when they're throwing out shit. They were so he made apparently he made a domestic violence joke. And anytime that that the Twitter mob is is like uh shortening i forget what the what the word is when they're sh when they're, they're calling it dv they're like he made a dv joke abbreviating <laughs> yeah when they're abbreviating shit like that you know you're in trouble oh uh, yeah i guess Second you someone calls it a dv joke that means you're fucked because the whole word is a trigger word if yeah you say domestic you're not allowed violence, to say the whole word yeah that's basically that's committing, literally what it is yeah that's committing domestic yeah, violence they call sexual assault sa <laughs> They do, I swear to God. <laughs> These poor uh, South Africans, dude. Imagine committing an SA and SA. Here's a question about domestic violence. Is it still domestic violence if it happens outside of the home? Maybe that turns into battery. Hmm, interesting. Like if, even if the couple's together... No, it truly, it's definitely uh, still it, domestic. It I think is. if it's anywhere, any, if it's a couple, it's a, I think it's more about the domestic partnership. Yeah, I think it's about oh, the, the domicile. The bond. Got it. If it's we're more about the bond. Get, uh, That's another bogged down in benign details. But another, if you went on a date with someone once and then you just got into a fucking brawl with them, is that domestic violence? That's a good question. Or is that just like you just yeah, met someone being in and court fucked them up? And they're like, I can't believe you committed domestic violence. And he was like, We hadn't even had the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what are we about? We <laughs> weren't <laughs> <exclusive. Yeah. laughs> There it's was no one saying I couldn't do that. It's definitely not if you're Dana White. <laughs> No. If no. you're Dana White, you just do it and then just go and yeah. bust them with the boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's you get you pounding each other's faces in, and you're like, well, like, uh, I think we should just keep our options open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, had I a, are you, like are you getting beaten up by anyone else right now? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Dude, I don't I like had, labels. <laughs> I had a gay dude tell me that him and his boyfriend. I don't know if we talked about this before, but that him and his boyfriend broke up, and they just brawled. That's and then they packed. and then they just yeah I know I didn't know if we were allowed to say that well, or not. Well, he said it on <laughs> he said it on podcast. Ah, okay, Gay Pat told me that that he that him and his boyfriend got they broke up and they got into a full on brawl and then we're just like all right see ya yeah, yeah. and he's got way better reach than his boyfriend oh, yeah hundred yeah. percent that's yeah. got to be a, a good way to end a relationship though it's got to be cathartic as just hell. smashing each other's skulls through the drywall closure and then, and then once you get tired you're like all right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab my phone charger before I leave. Were they probably like, you want to fuck once? You want to fuck one <laughs> yeah, last time? Hundred percent. Yeah. How? I think uh, domestic violence is another crime that women cannot commit. commit right? Of course not. Pretty Hope much. Solo did by the. Oh, but that Hope Solo beat the a, shit out of her husband. Oh, was it on a man? Oh yeah. I thought for oh, some. Oh, it might not. It might not have been. I thought it was. A, oh, I'm thinking of Brittany Griner because Brittany Griner got in trouble oh, yeah. for beating up her girlfriend, or they got they fought each other. Brittany Griner is not someone I would want to get in a fight with. Did Hope Solo? That reach is. Yeah, I would be over I there, and she'd be nailing uppercuts. Was it on a me. guy? She beat up her husband, her man, her boyfriend. He was like crawling through the gutter, like coughing no. up blood. <laughs> Hope Solo, yeah. That's fucking, crazy. She punted him in his balls. You fucking is that right? No. She threw, <laughs> no. Apparently, he threw out one of her weed carts. <laughs> really? Those can give you. Um, that was those, a Brittany Griner joke. Those can put you in the. Oh, okay. Yeah, because nice. she went to prison for the weed carts. Mm. I I was thought I thought you were talking about Hope Solo, so I was confused. No, I thought we were, so, so we, were I. Uh, we were flipping back and forth between Solo and Griner. Yeah. Uh, Asa Kira said that she used to get in fights with her uh, her boyfriend at the time. And she would like throw out ounces of his weed and like flush them down the toilet. Oh it's a power move. No, that's mean. That's a that's a waste of money. That's bull. Yeah, that's such bullying. Like fucking hide them or something like that. Just throwing them down the toilet. That's the toxic type of fighting that only a porn star can get away with. Yeah, that's just insane. But I guess that's what you're signing up for. 
You're right, though, Francis. A man, a man cannot experience that at the hands of a he woman. He can't really. Yeah, that. And and so talk to Hope Solos, man. Okay, well, this is my question, right? So then, how big and and how big does the woman need to be? She needs to be a, a PA, a for professional you to, For you as a man to actually say, like, I was beaten up. I feared for my life, and then and, and then to take your side. I mean, does it need to be? I mean, well, think about this: if you, if your wife decided that she was going to start fucking just destroying you physically, you probably wouldn't. You'd probably just take it. You probably wouldn't be fucking lining up headshots on your wife. No, I'm no, I'm not. So then, that's a case where you're like, that's domestic violence, and my that's the women's fault. What? Domestic because violence I is just when you take hit it? back. You're saying no. I just take it. Yeah, if you just take it, I think that's a domestic violence no, charge the on the cl- woman. I, I just feel like the court's not going to care. They're going to be like, "Come no, on, dude, no, look no. at the two of yeah, you." Yeah, they're be like, "Well, what did you do?" <laughs> yeah, what? Well, she right. must have had a good reason. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know it was your half anniversary. Come on, you were asking for it. <laughs> yeah, it's my half birthday today. <laughs> I was asking for it. You see a guy in some fucking size six skinny jeans, you know he's asking for fucking domestic. <laughs> you know he's begging for a, a nice hot domestic charge. I've never understood that joke, to be fully honest. I don't know what size six skinny jeans are. Yeah. Well, size six is, is, is that tight? I, theoretically I don't know on the larger smart, side. But it's not, though. I mean, it's for the not. purpose of the joke, it would make more sense if they were bigger jeans. Short size 14? Yeah. Or size. No, the idea is that they're skinny jeans, so mm-hmm. they're extremely, extremely tight, but they are being worn by a woman who, in his mind, is a bigger woman. All right. Size six is perfect, That's an though. insane joke. <laughs> I'm going to let you... Have you ever listened to when Dave went on Bill Burr's podcast and they talked about that? No. It's very funny. Oh, that's cool. It's I didn't like even 10 know years ago. That. Yeah, wow. it's really old. Explain what you're saying, Dave. Yeah. That's funny as hell. So anyway, these guys come over to my house, and I have a new dog. Yep. Yeah. I got a new dog. It's called Josie. Josie's on a vacation far away. Is that mm-hmm. what that song is? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Because uh, there's Josie and the Pussycats, and there's a. I just found out there's a Blink-182 song about Josie. There's also... Oh, the Smiths have a song about Josie. Josie. And I think Rush does, too. Fuck the Smiths. <laughs> the Smiths are great, dude. I'm surprised you don't like the Smiths. I have a shirt that says the Smiths on it. That's I'm the sure only you thing. do. You're a poser. I'd like to get back Big to time. what Roan was talking about. Yeah. Before you went elsewhere. But the only way that... Uh, so the, they, these guys came over to my house, and uh, the dog just uh, had the most explosive and violent uh, <laughs> diarrhea. As soon as I walked in the door. As, uh, yeah, just like right on the carpet. It just like hot lava came out, and it was... Uh, it it was a little bit distracting, but probably pretty funny to see me just running around, like just scream, literally screaming at the at the top of my lungs. Not screaming at the dog, just screaming like, "Oh my god, I can't believe what the fuck is happening right now." When you were in the other room and it was happening in real time, I was laughing really hard because we have a, a guest bedroom that we have made into the dog's pee pad room, and the dog tried to poop on the pee pad, but uh, it backed up against like this like a basically a fence that we set up in the room and so it was over a pee pad but the angle the angle that it was at had exit velocity that was literally sending it through the fence <laughs> over the fence like basically like you losing control of your dick earlier yeah, like yeah. a fire hose just going in every direction i'd never seen anything like even the sounds that were coming out of it was just it's like, gotta be crazy to be a dog I, I can't imagine losing control of my asshole <laughs> That's a whole different fucking level. Imagine you're shitting and you just lose the grip and it's and it, just spraying everywhere. It was like hissing. Yeah. Like uh, too much pressure coming Sounds like my radiator. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like a radiator It's in like New that York. scene in the Fast movie where they fly the tanks by firing them in the air and it yes. sends them the other way. It was exactly like the fa- one of the Fast movies. Uh, but it was a fun weekend. And honestly, the funnest part was that we were sucking down pie wines. Yeah. Pie wine. Three guys over the house. I had a handful of these last night, and I'll tell you what, we won a lot of wonderful bets. Yeah, I think it was the pie wine. Honestly, uh, Sass ordered up some some za. Didn't so share it's like, it. Okay, what's the best thing that you could pair the za with? A little Papa J's and a little pie wine. P and P. Yeah, uh, pie wine. Pizza's new sidekick. Uh, I was having the red. What you had one of the whites, I think. I was drinking whites. I had a lot of the whites. Yeah, the whites, fantastic. But I mean, one can, two glasses, and you're you're looking at what 105 percent alcohol or thirteen? Close 13? to thirteen. Thirteen in the yeah. red. Yep, the red. Thirteen in the red. Fantastic. Make you feel pretty good. I was feeling real nice last night. 
Yeah, there's Very something loose. about pie one that just has you feeling absolutely incredible. Like we said, it's pizza's new sidekick, and it, it really it really kicks kicks butt whenever you're having some. You're like, wow, am I enjoying myself as much as humanly possible right now? And also. The owners of Pie Wine are allowing everybody who wants to, you can invest in Pie Wine. So you can join the Pie Wine team. Shit. You can get your slice of uh, a $46 billion pizza industry by investing in Pie Wine today. You can find out a little bit more about that with at piewine.com. But, I mean, we're talking about the OG pizza wine. So you know that stuff is good. Mm. Yeah, that's bomb-ass dank ass. You know that stuff is good. Oh yeah, I crushed that pie last night. I came home and I had the whole. I finished the rest of it. Did you actually? But that was a little mini pie. Yeah, and, and, and some I was wings. hungry. I didn't eat any of the wings. Those were too saucy I for think me. It was actually a, a a bad move of you to get uh, Papa J's in the middle of Brooklyn. Why? Because there's like you're at the nexus of good pizza. Yeah, but I was saying this earlier. You guys live down a dirt road, so it takes <laughs> the bikers and the fucking cars an hour to get there. Yeah, we live off a dusty trail in Brooklyn. Seriously, it's like they like uh, if I ordered a pizza, it would be here in five minutes. Do you there, know that, the Papa John's was the closest thing. Everything else was like forty five minutes to an hour. I didn't have an hour in me. Anne Hathaway lived in our building for a lot of years. No, I didn't know that. Do you think she lives at the end of a dirt road in Brooklyn? Yeah, to escape all the fucking paparazzi. You ever see Love and Other Drugs? No. How Sounds about Les Miserables? No. How about uh, Sounds uh, ass. Miss Congeniality? Sounds oh, no, that's mid. not her. What the fuck? Oh, you're thinking of the Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada. Mid. Or also Princess Diaries. Diaries. Yes, Princess or Diaries. Mid. Which are breakout. What? Mid. No, these are fulls. Heard. <laughs> what? <laughs> heard. <laughs> You, heard. If you saying heard to me saying mid means that you agree. Yeah, that no, is mid. No, I'm saying full heard. No, you can't herd yourself. That not is not a how half it works. Heard, not a full mid heard. heard. That's full, just like, simply not her how it works. Frontal nudity in half of her movies. That she Princess does. Diary yep. was a banger. All the sheep in the herd. You know who I liked in Princess Diaries was the secure her security guard. Trivia. Here's a little bit of trivia. Isn't that the dude from Breaking Bad? Brian Cranston. No, no I think it's Michael Caine. Yeah, I think it is Michael Caine. Or are we thinking of My Batman? My name's Michael Caine. I don't know who it is. Um, what was the name of the fictional country that she lived in? I didn't know she lived in a fictional country. Brooklyn. <laughs> no. Our apartment. <laughs> Dirt Road. She was the princess of Genovia. Genovia. A sounds fake like country. a Sounds real. Sounds like a security company. I know. Or like a insurance company. Wachovia. Yeah. Genovia. Or that's a bank. Wachovia, I think. Oh. Sounds like a bank. Genovia could be a bank. Or like a Belgian chocolate company. Genovia Chocolates. Sass. I'm surprised you guys have seen those movies. I feel like those were more my age time. I watched it on a bus. It's a, that's a good bus bus movie. What, were you going to look, a lacrosse tournament or something? No, we were. I, was, I used to take the bus from school home. And, the, and like you watched from, it? From Boston all the way back to Maine. Was it oh, playing on the bu- on the bus seats? That was back when the buses had like one, you know, a TV every four or five rows. That's they so show crazy. One movie, and they showed Princess Diaries. That was awesome. They yeah. used to have that on planes too, and you just plug your you plug the your headphones into the seat. Dude, you may be too young to remember. I do you remember there was a time when there were planes like if you took an international flight, and there'd be there'd be a movie, and I I yeah there'd be a movie every like four or five seats. Yeah. And you'd have to plug your headphones in to the to listen to it. <laughs> I just said that. No, it, what this reminds me of on planes <laughs> when like every like say sixth, fifth, fourth seat, there's yeah. like a, a monitor and you have to put your headphone you like plug your headphone jack in. And they would tell you which channel, because one channel would be like music, jazz. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who has I gave headphones you guys on, the sad trombone. So I can't even hear sad trombone. For that on that. Mid, but then but then mid. you the, guys are putting out the, mid right now. The Fucking section scene. that was right before like let's say business class. They wouldn't have the t- the one in the middle would have a big TV on the. Front. I didn't even know that. They'd have the big TV. The up flights the front. that I was flying when I was younger was uh, we we never flew on long flights. We were always going to Chicago, so it would always be the CRJ nine hundred. Does it worry you when you get on to me like Delta flights? I can tell how new the plane is yes. based on the type of TV screen they have in the headrest mm-hmm. and which games they have. 
because they have the newer planes have an even better version of chess Mm -hmm. and the newest planes in the delta fleet have bluetooth connectivity really for the headphones for the headphones oh that's awesome i've never seen that though that's huge it's amazing that's actually one of the main reasons i don't watch movies on planes because i can't use my airpods exactly so i need my noise canceling but i put the airpod inside or no i put the wired headphones inside of an over ear Mm, headphone that is smart that really insulates the sound that's big moves that's money moves heard 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 but i also uh heard Heard. I, yeah, I throw bought a herd like in there uh, if you need to. Okay. I bought an adapter that you can <laughs> add the Bluetooth to, but the fact that they're having the Bluetooth, I mean, they just have to assume that everybody has Bluetooth. Oh, you got one now. of those little things that you plug into and the it thing. Dang- dangles, like a little dangle dongle. I lose those things like they're hair follicles. <laughs> I've never even heard of these. I lose them like follicles. <laughs> There, it like hangs off. You, you like plug it into plug the jack, it, it hangs off, and you can sync Bluetooth with it. So you're just dangling? It's like a uh, one inch. Are you dangle. thinking of dongle? Uh, it's like no. This is a da- it, it dangles, but it's not a. It's like a dongle. What it's is like a, a dongle? dongle? A dongle is like what you would use to plug your old headphones into. It was like it connected. Like you put. Like like ah, I'm trying to think. Mm. It, it, it would. Uh, it would. Yeah, you would plug your old headphones in. Yeah, and it would go. It would plug new, into the base of an iPhone the new slot. A little fucking slot. This is good podcasting right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is ass. Just describing what a dongle is. You fu- you're you're too pretty su- much what you would do. Um, I think you gave up too soon. We were, on, we were just about to get to something good there. We were. We were coming across something strong. There's something there. We'll rework. We'll reworkshop that. What's we'll get your, back to the dongle. What's your go-to drink when you're not having an alcoholic beverage on a plane? What do you get? DC. Diet Coke? Yeah, or about, just a water. What about you, Ron? GA. Ginger Ale? Yes, sir. That's a good one, dude. It used to be Bloody Mary mix, but then that, like that's 78% of your daily salt content. Yeah, You're wow. basically Frank the Tank if you're having a Bloody Mary mix. That's you true. You might as well lick a, a brick of salt like you're a fucking donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary mix is heavy on the salt. You really can't drink more than two Bloody Marys. Mm. I had those two when we were flying to San Francisco and I had a oh, two brutal on the plane? headache. Brutal headache. I can't even drink a Bloody Mary w- mixed with vodka on the plane. Like putting vodka in it is it turns it into a disgusting drink. Oh, I love it. Ugh. I like it like a I like a high end Bloody Mary. Like you stick a fucking chicken wing out the top. No, of it. I hate that shit. Just give me the mix and the vodka, dude. I don't need a fucking bacon and no. celery and shrimp. But if shrimp. a place is doing that, that means they're making and their the own bloody marys hanging they're out trying. of the side. No, that and there, there's probably like French horseradish. Fries. There's probably like a well-made <laughs> <laughs> a human finger just lingering at no, the top. No, that shit is nice, dude. I want it. I want a homemade bloody mary mix. I don't want some fucking canned mops bloody mary mix. That's more likely to have a finger in it. Some fucking poor factory worker. You ever slam a V8 here and there? Sometimes I'll go to a bodega and just pick up a V8, crush it. Mm. Love a V8. So much veggies in it too. So healthy. You must so be good nutrient deficient because there's those shits do not taste good. Your body must need vegetables always, so badly. I've always liked V8, and everyone v- always says that they don't like juice. it. Yeah. Yeah, there, was a, not good. there was a time when V8 was coming out with other juices. Oh, terrible! The Do you fruit remember those? Ones. Yeah, the fruity ones. Those were bad. But they thought we thought they were healthy. Yeah, <laughs> it's just sugar. They're probably more sugar than like a can of Coke has My in them. My drink on a plane is an apple juice. Mm. Apple juice is good. I, I actually like to had bond some with the little girl next to me to make sure her dad knows it's okay for her to come into the men's bathroom with me. <laughs> Two straws for the apple juice, please. <laughs> she and I will be I'll sharing. Take her. I'll take her. <laughs> You've got your hands full. You enjoy yeah. yourself. Watch the movie. You probably don't even have to go. Don't even unplug your dongle. <laughs> and now we've come back full circle. I'm glad we established we, what a dongle was. Yep. It all comes around to pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to Francis being a pedophile. There's always a, there's always something funny about pedophilia. I that hate is to hilarious. Say it. That's so funny, dude. Bringing another, bringing a kid into the <laughs> into the airplane dad, bathroom. I'll take your daughter. Say <laughs> so you're enjoying, it, but and he's on the aisle, so you have to climb yeah. over him to fucking yeah. take it. <laughs> the kid's yeah. like, no, it'll be you're easier if I window. take. It. Order your couple roads back. <laughs> you I got this. Do? Hey, hey, hey no, okay. you sit down. You sit down. Me. <laughs> Dude, no. full-time parent, I can't even imagine. You sit, you relax. You probably, like, full-time parenting is probably hard enough where, like, you'd probably be like, yeah, what are the yeah, chances that he's actually... I know. There's a 50-50 chance that he's just a good guy. <laughs> 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 I'm willing to roll the dice on this one. <laughs> it's crazy that there's not beast- bestialists 
the way that there are pedophiles. In there the are, but no one. I don't think people care as much. But you much. don't have to like worry about your dog getting like like when you like, take your yeah. dog to like the dog walker, a dog sitter, mm-hmm. like a dog walker. They have to be some of the creepier individuals that are walking around. Yeah, I would say there's probably a good amount of dudes out there. There probably is not. Dog is like top of the line. Like if you fuck a dog, people get mad. If yeah. you fuck a deer, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> If you go out into the woods one day and you just start laying pipe against a deer, what no one would ever... What the fuck think of that? Because I'm just thinking of like another animal that you would see. <laughs> why like a, a deer? fox? What the fuck? What, why why would you think of that? If you blew the back no, of a you fox th- out... No, you've thought about no fucking a deer. No one would give a shit. You're like, bro, no one would care if I fucked this <laughs> no, deer. But it's true. They wouldn't, dude. People, people hit deers with their cars all the time. You don't think and someone's ever thrown it in the back of the truck, yeah, found a little... dead one? Gondolite. You're telling me a narcoleptic <laughs> bestiologist? 100%. Dude, I bet I bet like eighty. Per- I bet it's a shocking high amount of hunters. <laughs> oh, they that's why kill they the deer tails. and they it's go just and they someone fuck. finishing on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how'd you get that Lyme disease? Oh, I forgot to wrap up. Yeah, <laughs> I fucked the deer. Dude, hold on a second. I was gonna say that I think if if in if you get caught for bestiality, there should be there could be a uh, a sort of like a different set of punishment for that. You know, if you get caught for pedophilia. <laughs> It's like you get put on the sex offenders registry. Yeah, really bad. If if we if we got if we got people for bestiality, I almost think there could be a thing where it's like, yeah, we send them out in the wild with just like a knife. And dude, there's no chance. That's like that's they, like sending a serial killer to like a sorority house. <laughs> no, no, sending let's a say fucking it's bestiality a guy let's out to the woods. Grizzly, that's country. dream come true. Gri- grizzly country. <laughs> Grizzly country. Some sort of bestiality dying wish. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, you out go in the woods the, by myself. The polar bear pit <laughs> at the Dude. zoo. Some place yeah, where yeah, the, uh, yeah. like the odds dangerous. are dangerous. Yeah, and yeah. it's like if you can catch this and On subdue safari. the animal, you get to fuck it. Yeah, but dude, I bet bestiality. I bet that's like they like they know what they're doing. They've been around the block. He could like if you're top if you're a top dog if you're they know what if, they're dude, doing. dude if you're if you're such a pot if you're if you I don't know what is the right word to use here if you're a bestiality pro like if you've been around the block so many times <laughs> I think that, that it's it, caught on to the public if you work it's your easy, way up the food chain <laughs> exactly dude it's it's probably pretty easy to fuck an animal and get away with it. And if who, you, who are if they you, telling? Exactly. If you <laughs> fucked enough animals that someone found out and caught you, you've probably fucked so many animals that you've built like a bond. Like you're like Cinderella where you're just talking to the animals. I, I don't know if that's how it works, man. I don't know if that's how it works. I don't think that's how it works. I bet that there is a argument that people who do bestiality could make that a vegan who does bestiality is more ethical than a hunter. Because they're like, I'm just fucking it. You're killing and eating it, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, you that's true. Psychopath. That is a good point. I I'm like where you're going. Love to it. Yeah, you're fucking eating its flesh. We you both came unhinged. Try psycho. this one on. For both size. of us got off. You know, you know how a lot of people like <laughs> to say. Calm, I mean. You know how a lot of people like to say. I hope when I die, I get reincarnated as a dog. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you got reincarnated as the one dog that gets fucked by its owner <laughs> constantly. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, fuck, fuck. I didn't mean this. <laughs> no. I would say bestiality. I want to be man's best friend, not <laughs> man's lover. <laughs> Dude, bestiality is probably one of the worst things. Like, I would rather get caught murdering someone, and like, like, say you get caught murdering someone, you go to prison for however long. You get off early. You're like sixty. People are like, well, he had a fucking rough upbringing. Blah blah. If you get caught fucking an animal. And you got to like go back home for Thanksgiving. Everyone's looking at you like, <laughs> yeah, they are. Ugh. But I also like I think, bringing their dog closer yeah. to them, dude. Like, I think keep you the make turkey away good, from him. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good point, though. It's like yeah. okay, you get caught fucking a dog, everyone hates you. If you get caught fucking a mountain lion, <laughs> there's respect. <laughs> There's respect. There's a begrudging respect. It's like, well, that's not my thing, but how? I need to hear the story of how you did that. And it's still no, I agree alive? with that. I agree with that. I agree with that fully. It's so crazy that the ethical onus is on the human to not fuck the mountain lion. Because what if the mountain lion truly seduces the human? <laughs> What if the mountain lion is giving it like cat eyes and you're like, dude, I didn't want to. I was literally seduced by yeah. this mountain lion. I had it's too like, many drinks. 
<laughs> it's on us to be the ones that are like so ethical that we mm. won't do it. Yeah. But it's not on them at all. Uh-huh. Like they bear no like yeah. they bear no uh brunt of, of this. What's it's, what's the animal where like let's say you found out I don't know, your dad had fucked an animal. What's the one, the species where you're it's the best most case scenario. under yeah, best case scenario? Like, uh, it's you, a goat. It takes like a couple of years, or but then sheep. you start to accept him again. It's a sheep. Is I would it? say horse. No, horse no. is the least. Cause that horse means is tough. That means you're getting blown the fuck out. Or are you saying fucked or fucked by? I thought we were saying f- like they fucked the animal. Topping. Topping the animal. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I mean, I think that there's been videos of goats where they're, they're like, people are like, hold on. Like the goats, like, I goats think you're that, right. like asses. I think it's like you're a lonely shepherd in the middle of the. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just right. the stars. Or what about like a gorilla? They have Something. human-like That's exactly what features. I was gonna say. It's the closest yeah. thing on the evolutionary chart, right? Yeah. Because then you're like, well, they had five fingers. They gave me a proper hand job. Like, I don't. Yeah. You know that whole thing where it's like it's like you're around a group of people for long enough, and some suddenly some people that you didn't initially find attractive, they start becoming attractive. Yeah. The, the thing literally cut my balls with one hand. It had yeah. the same technique that my yeah. less hairy girlfriend did. Like you could probably get a, a hickey from a. I bet you Dude. a female chimpanzee knows to cover its teeth with its lips while blowing a 100%. human man. Yeah, oh, totally. 100%. Dude, if you went out into the woods for like a, <laughs> for like two nights and you and the gorillas were partying, like drinking. Yeah, dude. Fermented There's wine. no way you're going two nights without fucking one of those gorillas. <laughs> that at that end of the night, they all fuck. If you brought like a couple handles of Captain Morgan yeah. out and you're just like yeah. getting absolutely yeah. shit faced, like you're showing seeing them how, how to they build can put tools. down a banana <laughs> in the wild, and you're like, holy shit! Like whittling a dildo. Yeah. If that it's was like, my penis. <laughs> next thing you know. Yeah. Uh, well, this portion of the podcast is brought to you yeah. by <laughs> Pie Wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can find yourself in a throng of gorillas. <laughs> Drinking a bunch of pie wines and start to say, hey. That was our weekend recap. I mean, what animals did you guys see fuck when you were out in South Africa? Lions. Lions. I saw some lions. I saw lions too. Lions, actually, I would, ooh, but lions, because there's that one lion in Lion King that everyone always makes jokes about that it's attractive. Nala. 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 Right. Is that what I'm saying? If you're stumbling upon Nala in the woods. Stop, bro. <laughs> Chill, Stop. Bro. Stop. Yeah, herd. Bro. Bro. Herd. Herd. The whole herd. 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 I, gotta herd of I have to pee. I'll be right back. Okay, go for it. Okay. Let's do an ad here. Let's do an ad. All righty. Let's talk about better help. Yes, this sir. podcast is sponsored by better help this time of year can be a lot it's natural to feel some type of sadness and anxiety about it but adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings you're talking to a better help customer himself and one of my favorite things about better help is it's completely on your own schedule it's completely contained within an app on your own phone you can go in there find a therapist that's right for you what are you giggling at? The radiator. The radiator is hissing, but sometimes your mind can be hissing and there could be background noise that you need to silence exactly the same as that radiator. So honestly, the, the perfect uh, analogy, it's, it really speaks to what's going on in, the, in this world and in all of our bodies at times. But BetterHelp is so simple. Don't shut that off, Francis. It's so straightforward. <laughs> it's so simple and it's so straightforward. What happens is you'll get matched with a therapist who will talk to you about the things that you want. You kind of click or let them know what's going on, what kind of issues you want to address. And then sure enough, you can set up a call with them. You can kind of like message with them. You can get on a video chat with them. There's so many different ways to interface and better help tailors it all for you to be able to do it at your own comfort level from the comfort of your own home. It is honestly yes. one of the better uh, sponsors and one of the better features that I have on my exactly. phone. It's, it's really just absolutely fantastic. BetterHelp is... Uh, Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash sun to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash sun. Son of a boy dad is sponsored by BetterHelp. Alrighty, let's talk about Rent App. Oh my god. Rent app is teaming up with Barstool HQ to give one of our producers a free month of rent. Wait, Sass, you've been producing this podcast. That's true. 
Tune in to the NYC office-wide campaign led by Kelly Keegs on Barstool Radio for all talents to pitch why their producer deserves free rent. Here, I, I can say right now, I think that Sash deserves free rent because look at this place, man. Look at the, the state of this place. Look at the neighborhood and look at how hard he works. Those are the types of things that make me think, wow, Sash deserves free rent. But even if not... I think that uh, the rent is, app, the rent app is legitimately one of the better deals that I've heard. It makes it so easy for you to be able to pay your rent. It's not like your landlord has to register for it or anything like nope. that. It's just very straightforward. You get on there, you can pay your rent. No more trips to the ATM. No more mailing checks and no. no more managing balances in multiple different apps. You could just set it up so easily and get this. There's no fees. There's no weekly limits. The rent app is completely free for you to use. No need for your landlord to create an account. Just like I said, it's completely free for them too. And the benefits don't stop there. Rent app is about helping you build a brighter financial future. By optionally reporting your on-time rent payments to three major credit bureaus, rent app brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit score. So why wait? Go to rent.app slash barstool for $50 off your first rent payment and download Rent App in the App Store today. This is usually where Ronan and I talk about something uh, high-minded. You guys don't have to talk. I, we can just put an ad there? No, okay. I think we'll talk. I think we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Um, you know, what do you know about uh, Fermi's Paradox? that real thing or what's the one uh what's the law that you could never uh you could never touch something because you're always cutting the distance between everything in half oh is that a thing yeah that is too fuck i'm trying to think of some some shit that harry can come back in and just be like hey what's the well i mean the one from interstellar is great uh murphy's law Murphy's anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah, and I, I think it's like it, it's been it becomes more cynical, but I think it's more actually like whatever can happen will happen, and it's not supposed to just be bad stuff. Right, like that's the negative part of it. But anything that can go right will go right. Maybe it's Z, what's Zeno's paradox? I'm thinking of Zeno's paradox. A set of four paradoxes dealing with the counterintuitive aspects of continuous space and time. Okay, that's tough. That's a complicated one. That's tough for me to get. Achilles <laughs> goes to an infinite number of places in an actually infinite number of... Okay, yeah, to catch the tortoise. Yeah, I can't fucking wrap my Is head around Zeno's paradox. Is it the one Zeno's about the half of, you never get there because you're halfway, 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 halfway? That, that's... That's one that was in like a movie called IQ that was Walter Matthau playing Albert Einstein. Meg Ryan was in it. You guys know uh, who uh, Delilah is? The radio lady? Yeah, the, yes, yeah, 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 I remember that. Was that a romance person? She's like the romance lady. Late she's, at night. She's syndicated on like five channels. Yeah, right, And she's right, like, right. hey, guys, like, here's Soft, I got a song queued up for you. Mm -hmm. Love can be hard. And she, do you know that, that bitch who gives... She lectures all of America on love and romance. She's been divorced. Alex Cooper? <laughs> it's basically like grown-up, grown-ass Alex Cooper. This lady started her career in 1984 when she was like in her 20s. So basically Alex Cooper. So Alex, and now she's in her 60s or some shit. And uh, like, so imagine Alex Cooper in her 60s still just talking about the same shit. Which yeah. she will be. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but this woman has been divorced four times. She's lecturing all of America on love. Hmm. She also has had 15 kids. What? 12 of them adopted. Oh. And three of them have committed to, or have, have died. Wow. Which is too many. what was the difference there? Because one of the things that you were about to say is a lot different than them dying. Well, I think maybe one or, <laughs> one or two. One or two committed the committed SSI'd. Hmm. It's a word I don't even want to say because I don't want Matt Rice fans descending on me. If you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Heard. We're like basically like nesting dolls right now. I'm low. You're right in the middle. Set, Francis is the tallest. I'm the tallest. Or Francis is the tallest by just a hair, though. Francis, straighten that spine up. We get a little like uh, waterfall action going on. I will say I'm very worried about my posture on the uh, what's it called on the video that we recorded in the office today. I think my posture was extremely bad, and I think mm. it's going to show. Because you were sitting in a stool. It's so hard to have a posture stool. in a stool. 
When I sit on a stool, I go full shrimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking my chin is touching my knees. Yeah, you turn into a sea clam. <laughs> Shrimp it up. Shrimpy. Shrimperson. Yeah, you do. And that's probably why your dick is just fucking losing absolute control of itself. No, I had full control when I was in the bathroom just now. Really? Yeah. Wait, yeah, you just pissed. Why are you pissing so much? Because I drank a lot of water at the office. That's going to break. Too. If you break my couch, I'll fucking kill you. I don't think you will. I will. You'll just be like, oh, no, let's get another one. I won't. This couch is a lot of money. How much? A lot. Like like two grand? No, one grand. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Get, get off of this. You're going to ruin it. You He's told me to get up top. Rowan did. Yeah, well, I thought it was creating a funny visual, dude. I thought that it was creating like a nice tic-tac-toe type of situation. This isn't a visual podcast. It's an audio podcast. That's I watched not true. The Lord of the Rings again. All of them. Really? What? How was it? it I've was, never seen any of them. Oh, it's good, man. Yeah. It's really solid. And I'm not a huge, you know fantasy guy fantasy guy um but it was good although the merlin character he merlin confuses lord me. of the rings it's not oh, merlin gandalf. gandalf yes what confuses me about him is why he doesn't use his magic more i i completely empathize any magic movie where it's like uh there's someone like there's like poor people in magic movies yeah. or like in fucking Harry Potter, like someone doesn't have like nice clothes or fucking uh, enough food. It's like make some out of fucking magic yeah. then you fucking yeah. goofball. Yeah. Like why why not just fucking use your magic at all times? Like I mean, they could like use it sometimes. He's fighting orcs hand to hand combat. <laughs> and then there are other times where he like summons fucking the trees to come fight with him. Right. And you're like, wait a minute, dude. You had that in the bag? And dude. you're you're brawling? You're like getting punched in the eye? There's a scene where they he goes out to get a bunch of um the bad dinosaur bird things away from like the soldiers that are on his team coming home to he's trying to fight them off and he he rides out with his staff and he shines this gigantic light and they all fly off. It's like, dude, why didn't you do that when you were in the trenches? doing taekwondo against orcs that is goofy as hell i've also never finished one of those movies though i always try to start and it's like i just cannot keep focus on th this uh when this you guys fantasy shit this yeah, these dragons it's a long when you guys watch those magic movies like like uh harry potter and shit like that i did watch harry potter the other morning because i'm waking up at six now with this yeah, dog i'll just turn so on the sci-fi channel unbelievable mm -hmm. just though i threw on the goblet of fire the other day oh, unbelievable cedric diggory's hot one. ass cedric, cedric diggory's diggory. so, um, so yeah fucking he looked fun. so good girls went nuts for him there was a girl in my class that had a pin up she like ripped out a piece piece from a i don't know magazine and put in the inside of her locker <laughs> yeah. that's so funny and then she had usher too holding his shirt up and showing his abs oh, i remember that poster yeah of usher yeah Damn. i know people actually did that we never were allowed to do that so i always assumed it was just like a disney channel thing like putting shit in your locker she did it that's funny yeah no, she people did should it. do that or the or the so but, but what were you about to say uh, when i was little i used to watch like harry potter and then wizards of waverly place was very big when i was a young one and yep. um I would be like, I would get like genuinely angry that, that I couldn't that I it? couldn't do magic. Did you ever try? No, because I knew I would never. Like I, I, I would like have dreams where I had yeah, a magic course. wand. You're we all had those, dreams. and I would wake up and I would be like, "Fuck, dude!" Did you ever? Did you ever go out into the woods though after watching Star Wars and hold your hand out at a tree? Yeah, yeah. and try to do the force. Yeah, but I never got it with the force as much as I did with the magic. Like, I, I, dude, just like in Wizards of Waverly Place, they'd just be like, I want a fucking Sunday. And they just, Sunday. That's awesome. That's crazy, though, because you weren't like, for me, when I went and tried to do it with the trees using the force, I actually stilled my mind. I sort of tried to do some breathing exercises and I was very <laughs> patient with it. I held my hand out for a long time. Really? I, I did like the remote thing, like the old meme. I tried that the here and there, but it's, nothing, nothing well, past to me, that. I mean, it sounds like you wanted immediate gratification. I did. You weren't ready to work at your craft. You no, wanted a Sunday all. like that to appear, whereas I actually took the time to learn it. I used to, like, I used to do it in point. church. I would like stare at people and be like, can I make him like move and then like sometimes people would like look to the side and i'd be like 
Yeah. yeah Did I probably, just They do probably that? looked over and saw you just fucking <laughs> eyeing just them like, down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just trying to f- force them to move with my mind. It, it is a great, it is a great thought. Having a good dream that just ends like that is the worst feeling. Like a dream where you're fucking flying and shit. Yeah, it's too bad. I've ne- I never have dreams like that where I'm flying or I can go to outer space. All my dreams are ridiculously practical. I had a dream that I was dating Sydney Sweeney and then I woke up and I was f- genuinely angry. I remember this. Like mad. I believe you've talked about yeah, this before. Like you a still year ago. It pisses you off. Oh, dude. Think about it every night before I go to bed. I think Sydney Sweeney's pretty, um, pretty cool. Yeah, me too. If you're into cool her as hell. type into that stuff. Pretty hot for a girl. For a girl. Yeah. Not for an animal, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's no lion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If she was a zebra. <laughs> Do you think a bestiality at pro would look at Sydney Sweeney and be like, not enough hair. I don't get all the hype. Yeah, where's the fur? Where's, where's the hair? <laughs> oh, only, she's, a, she's a biped? Only two legs? Okay. Yeah. You don't even have to lift her tail up? I'm noticing her lack of fangs. <laughs> it's a little bit off-putting. <laughs> her in, in, into, endoskeleton? <laughs> What's the skeleton on the inside? The opposite of an exoskeleton? I don't fucking know. It's probably an endoskeleton. Uh, endoskeleton? Endo, yeah. endo. That's mm. got to be what it is what i've been fucking smoking um dude but whenever i watch harry potter i'm always just like voldemort is such a fucking bitch oh yeah i hate voldemort. he's getting like deuced up by it like a eight, basically an eight-year-old yeah like yeah. A, li- a little boy like keeps on foiling him movie after movie after movie well it's because he's the chosen one but he'll just like get him like one-on-one and he'll be like I'm going to take my time this time and I'm really going to fucking torture him. And then like he gets out, he slips out of the grasp and he's like, blast. Yeah. How has this happened again? Mm. Also, like, keep bro, in mind, you're a bitch. the original is just him getting fucked up by a newborn baby. Yeah. Which because like, of love. Yeah. No, but that's not same, really the original. That's just a flashback. That's just a, 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 a bit of I mean, like they I mean, like right their, their, original, their original duel. Is when Harry Potter was a baby and right, Voldemort but it couldn't was, kill him. It was Lily Potter's love that protected Harry. Yeah, but I feel like if you just ditched the whole magic thing, he probably would have been pretty easy to take it. Like if Voldemort was just like, oh shit, I actually don't even need to use magic to kill this. He just put his infant. wand down and like, yeah, yeah, you're the, just take the, a pillow and just go. <laughs> Like, that should be the flashback. I'm going to do this the analog way. <laughs> we just, like, yeah. leave the baby there yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for two hours. Yeah, the baby. <laughs> like, just lay, lay, leave some Legos yeah. out. Put the baby on its stomach. <laughs> the boy who lived is going to yeah. be fucking cooked. <laughs> by a single erector set. <laughs> by an open window and one let him crawl Lego. around. Throw one Lego in that crib. Yeah. Done. <laughs> but instead, he's, like, trying to use, he's, like, his magic won't work. Yeah, he's like it's, it, it's it's an ancient magic. I should have seen it coming. <laughs> Love. <laughs> it's like no, like you, you leave it with like a newspaper bag and it'll fucking kill itself probably. Uh, like dude. a single plastic bag will end this baby. Have you- Sid's probably just like <laughs> random an infant ra- and random inf- infant death would probably do it. Have you guys been have you guys seen this trend that parents are doing where they will have like a friend of theirs dress up as the Grinch and come in on Christmas? Oh, and scare the fuck out and of their kids. The f- and the comments are all like, this is traumatized. Dude, I think those videos are genuinely the funniest thing I've ever seen. Why? Dude, uh, let me show you Why guys. Why do you love to see a little kid Let me show you guys crying this one. Scared. It is, dude. It, I'll put it up on the screen so we can watch, so they can, so the viewer can see it. But it is. This is a visual podcast, bro. So goddamn funny. Let's talk about Rent App. Oh my god. Rent App is teaming up with Barstool HQ to give one of our producers a free month of rent. Wait, Sass, you've been producing this podcast. That's true. Tune in to the NYC office wide campaign led by Kelly Keegs on Barstool Radio for all talents to pitch why their producer deserves free rent. Here, I, I can say right now, I think that Sass deserves free rent because look at this place, man. Look at the, the state of this place. Look at the neighborhood and look at how hard he works. Those are the types of things that make me think, wow, SAS deserves free rent. But even if not, I think that uh, the rent is, app the rent app is legitimately one of the better deals that I've heard. It makes it so easy for you to be able to pay your rent. It's not like your landlord has to register for it or anything like nope. that. It's just very straightforward. You get on there. You can pay your rent. No more trips to the ATM? 
No more mailing checks. No, no more managing balances in multiple different apps. You could just set it up so easily and get this. There's no fees. There's no weekly limits. The Rent app is completely free for you to use. No need for your landlord to create account. Just like I said, it's completely free for them too. And the benefits don't stop there. Rent app is about helping you build a brighter financial future. By optionally reporting your on-time rent payments to three major credit bureaus, RentApp brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit co- score. So why wait? Go to rent.app slash barstool for $50 off your first rent payment and download RentApp in the App Store today. Oh, holy. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? That's pretty good. I don't even think it's that funny. I think, I think like, it's so making funny. Making a kid dude. like scream, traumatizing a young child. I don't is think what it's, they're not traumatizing. No, them. they literally. What do you that, know is tra- about that is literal child trauma. They, dude, a year later, the kids seem like, oh, the Grinch isn't real. Or that he's going to be out in my the woods uncle. looking to, for green animals <laughs> to fuck because he's been c- conditioned into thinking that's the intruder. I need to I tame need to this fuck thing. It. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You might be right. No, That's how it starts. Or they'll just have like this underlying distrust of like intruders and shit like that. Like there, there's going to be... <laughs> I think that video is so funny. The kids are fucking badass for fighting him. Like wish, the one kid is so yeah, brave. Yeah, mm. He'll probably kill someone at some point in his life. Like if it was really the Grinch, he would he would drag him outside and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the Grinch drown definitely fucked kids for sure. Let's say uh, you're sleeping in your home. Yeah. And you hear your door open and there's an intruder in the house. What weapon are you getting? Right, like it, in my apartment right now? Yeah. you're. But you're in your... That's tricky for you. Because yeah. there's nowhere you can go. I mean, you're going to have to just face him immediately. Because <laughs> this place is so Honestly, small. dude, maybe take one of these microphones with the cord on it. Start... Get a little... Get a little... <laughs> That oh, kind of action, oh, really? like a mace. I mean, I don't have much to work. No, with. totally. You're no, like no, no. You'd have best to go case scenario mini-hole. is like the edge of my laptop. Can you, Roan, think like, wh- wh- yeah? What, what about you? Roan has, I mean, dude, the shapes lying around his apartment that are just made oh, of fucking yeah. concrete. That's my best bet. Yeah, is like breaking blood, one of those. Someone yeah. with a shape. What's well, a shape? They, like Roan's got all those shapes. My everywhere. wife just like buys shapes. What do you mean shapes? Like the decorative shapes that they have. Like they're like the they'll most be a random triangles and stuff. No, yeah, they'll be a triangle, a sphere, like statues. You could call them statues. No, they're yeah. not even statues though. They're like decor shapes. Yeah. Oh, when we were moving, I had them like lined up in a, in a <laughs> row, it, and there's it's preposterous <laughs> how like, many shapes this woman has. Look bought. around next time you're at Rome. Portals or something. They're, they're, they could be. It could be a port key if we're talking Harry Potter yeah. shit. But you put yeah. your hand on that, you might be trans to another dimension yeah. but some of them are like fucking like curious knots and some of them are just like an oval with like a top and a bottom like there's just like some of them is just like a u or a fucking rainbow or just mm. a vessel or a fucking vase it's so many fucking shapes i didn't even think i had anything honestly i could like pelt shapes at them like a snowball fight yeah i could just like have a elf. stack of yeah. shapes and yeah. just be fucking just throwing them at somebody mm. because i have that many just weird ass oblong shapes in my yeah. fucking house what would you use? Well, this is why I want. We're talking apartment though, not house. Yeah, I know. House That's why answer. I wanted to ask. Is is you know? I guess if I could get to my knife block, I have a pretty good. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think about knife either. <laughs> I have a pretty good kitchen knife. It's yeah. big. It's yeah. a big knife. Yeah, I do too. But you know, the the question becomes: How would you? Would you? Fe- would you feel okay stabbing fighting someone? someone with a knife? No, a knife fight. No. You know what I'd be really worried about would be my fingers, cutting them, getting like uh, like slipping or something and hurting my like I don't know that would freak me out. Also, I would not want to stab someone. But that's my that's right. See what I mean? Like the feeling of of, of well stabbing like this. Like you're (sighs) as just as susceptible to have that shit come in. That's why if I'm stabbing, I'm going like. Oh, you're going Michael. You're going Michael Myers. Yeah, back. You're backhanding. Would you slash? Would you guys do any slashing? I would probably slash. I feel like slash would hurt more. But then they're gonna hold their hands up, and this is my point. Like you, you cut someone's hand open. You see like sinew and tissue and and tendon and stuff. I would get squeamish. Be icky. It make you nauseous. Yeah, but it would make you don't know. You well, to be honest, none of us would know how we would react. What if you see that and all of a sudden you get the hunger? <laughs> you get the yeah. Oh, you like lick you, the blood. You kill yeah. him and then you and then you cut off a piece. <sighs> cut off a piece. Next or, thing you know, right. you put fucking seventy holes in this dude. There's a store. Uh, George Harrison's house got broken into. Yeah, and his uh, I think it was in New York, and his wife uh, 
like smoked the dude in the head with a baseball bat. Wow. Really? And she talks about it in the documentary. Uh, she's like, oh, my dad always told me to follow through. So like, I was just thinking about it as it happened. Like, make sure you follow through and fucking just, just hit him as hard as she could with a follow through. Are you sure that's not the plot of Signs? Uh, Abigail Breslin is told, make sure you follow through from her dying mother who's pinned between the car and the tree. I don't, and I, it's a foretelling I, of when the an, the alien is in the house and she leaves her water cups everywhere and she starts swinging at the water cups. Is signs based on George Harrison's wife who it could be. smoked an intruder? Well, George Harrison was the executive producer of Signs. <laughs> he, him and Shyamalan yeah. got together. It wasn't, by the way, um, the girl who swings the baseball bat. It's Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, uh, really? Joaquin Phoenix is in Signs? Sure is. I've never seen Signs. Is it scary? Have you seen Signs? No. Then forgive me. That joke fell flat. Is it scary? I knew you weren't thinking of Signs. Oh, no. I knew I knew you knew I wasn't. But also, I've never seen... I've, and I've seen most of Shyamalan's Guys, work. That he went is, to my grade school. I think, Come I on. guess, Sixth Sense... Signs is number two. Really? It's absolutely number two. It's scary? Really? Oh my god! Is it? Is it? Does it hold up? Scary though? Absolutely. All right. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. I think you should watch it. I'll watch it tonight. You're not ready to be spooked like that. Dude, Signs I love is horror excellent. Movies. I watch horror movies like I watch like three horror movies a it's, week. It's also yeah, it's a horror movie. I would I would watch Signs. I would make sure you watch Signs. Don't miss that. Twitch is pretty good too. Twitch. The one where the, um, James McAvoy plays like 19 different characters because he that, has that, that multiple called personality. Twitch? I think so. S- split? S- switch? Split is the one where that dude, yeah, the personality one. Is that what you said? Isn't it? Uh, is that That's what that's called? Yeah, it's called Split. And that's, oh. what that, that's a three-part trilogy. Oh, yeah, because then it's like Broken Glass. Bro- unbroken, unbroken and Glass. Todd Glass. And then Unwritten, I think, is one of them too. No. That's Natasha Bedingfield. Yeah, I'm thinking of Glass, Natasha Bedingfield. I actually loved. People hated that movie when they when they become like superheroes. I don't know anything about that one. That's the one where the first one is Unbroken, I believe. And then un- Unbroken is definitely the first one. That. Is it Unbroken or is it Broken? Unbroken is the fucking movie with Louis Zamperini. Yeah, Unbreakable is what it's called. Unbreakable with Bruce Willis. Unbroken is that Louis? It's Louis Zamperini, right? Louis C.K. had a special. <laughs> no, 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 no. Un- un- Unbroken is the Louis Zamperini movie. He's the Olympian who goes to the war and he gets stranded on a boat and then he gets taken in by like a... Oh, he stares yeah, at the blank read page that before book. Him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I read that book. There was a part in that book. Do you know? Did you see that movie? Yeah, and the book. Did you see the movie? I did not. Did you read the book? What? Unbroken? No. We had to read it in high school. Did we talk about this? No. There's that moment. I've said this somewhere. There's a moment where this uh, war guy, Louis Zamperini, I guess that's his yeah. name, they crash in a plane. They're yes. plane pilots and they crash into the ocean. They ditch. Mm-hmm. And then they're adrift in a small dinghy and for, for days, days and days and days in the Pacific Ocean. And in the life raft is one tin of, of rations. It's it's like a bar of chocolate. It's like three bars of chocolate, mm. dark chocolate, which mm-hmm. is meant to be their sustenance for as long. They have no idea how long they're going to be at sea. And there's a guy in their group who <laughs> it has a voracious sweet tooth, which I relate to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know the scene. And they talk about him. They have like a nickname. They call them like Pies McGee or something. Yeah, fatso. Yeah. Lard ass. <laughs> Porky. So- so Porky Lardass is there <laughs> yeah. in the mess hall before they leave on the trip. All he eats all day is pie. He just only eats desserts. He just, he lives on desserts. A He's little obsessed. foreshadowing. Yeah. So they crash. This is a true story. And they crash into the ocean. They're drifted sea. And they say, okay, they open up the tin of chocolates. And they're like, okay, we have two bars. So each day, we're gonna everyone's going to get a quarter of a square. And they're like, okay, good. That'll last us, you know, 31 days. We have this much water. Hopefully, by the end of this, like chocolate, someone will have seen us. And they all go to sleep that night. And they wake up the next morning. Yeah. And fat Porky yeah, has eaten Barnas. all of the chocolate. Yeah. The oh whole, my like God. all the. <laughs> in the in the first night while they were yeah. asleep. Oh, did they kill him? <laughs> uh no. No, they, they they I think they were mad but he like felt so bad. he was so ashamed. But I can so I can totally relate to that. 
I mean, the, if sugar is yeah. as strong and addicting as you, as people say it is, yeah, then you, you can't blame him. Do you guys have sweet tooths? No, yes, but I'm off the candy right now, and I've been off the candy for like f- a month now, probably. You Close to it. it. Who's there? I've, I'm off the gummies. Wave. He's staring right at us. He probably is a he's he's probably a guy. He's probably listening to the pod right now. Should we get him in here? <laughs> I have a, I do have a nice sweet tooth. I I I rather enjoy it, especially if I'm going out to dinner. Dessert. I'm not having dessert every night. I don't have pints of ice cream laying around. But if mm. I'm going out to dinner, I want to complete the. Uh, really, I the never. Meal. I'm I'm my problem is I'm a I have a shit food tooth. <laughs> like dog. You shit. have a shit tooth. You have a Dude. shit food tooth. <laughs> like like. Four beers. I'm going home and I'm t- I'm waking up covered in Taco Bell wrappers. Damn, dude, that's yeah. fucking weak. I shouldn't have even let you bring home that fucking Papa John's last no, night. No, that there's no guilt involved if I'm sober. Well, you should have been guilty because what? that shit was disgusting. Because you think you have agency over what you're choosing to eat? Because I, I, yeah, I mean it's Sunday football. I'm gonna have some slop. <laughs> slop it up, dude. On Saturday night, I go to bed and I go, I'm slopping it up tomorrow. That's good. Yeah, I'm getting pizza. I'm getting wings. I was looking forward to the slop, but I didn't even go that hard on the slop. I, I crushed a couple. What? I had maybe. I five had wings. one wing. Came came back home. Barely any wings left. I, I had only about had, five. I, I had about only five had wings. Oh, I didn't even know you had one. I had one. That makes sense. So there was seven, eight missing. Is that crazy? Is that going hard on the slop with these tiny ass fucking the the chicken was probably four days old. Yeah, Papa that was John those wings were those wings it. were not impressive. Those were the tiniest wings that I've ever. Those were some in of the worst life. wings I've ever had. Are you, fucking are you mad at him for eating your wings? No, he hosted us. No, I, we, I asked him. I said, "How many wings are you going to eat?" And he said, eight. Yeah, you got sixteen wings. Yeah, no, I'm and not I mad. I was just saying you slopped it up. I said I didn't go that hard though. That's decent hard. I think seven wings is not that bad. Especially these tiny ass bitch Papa John's wings. To do pizza and wings, that's really bad. Well, I did a whole pizza and one wing. You only had one wing? Yeah, they, I didn't like those wings. They were not good. And by mm. the time they got home, they were probably They were disgusting. ice cold. I think all of us hanging out. Run, stop. As we do. <laughs> Everybody can see in so much. I feel like I'm in a fish tank right now. Because you are in a fish tank. It's also but it doesn't, 150 degrees in dude, here. Dude, that thing does not quit. That thing is like that a radiator. A, that, you, could, you could save someone who's dying of COVID with that thing. <laughs> yeah. That is a life support, one of those things that they ran out of. Yeah, it's a big ass radiator. It's a fucking climate radiator. changer for sure. And it just it pisses, making this sound. It the, pisses like this all day. And then it shuts off and it's fucking freezing. Can we get it to shut? You need no. to call. Let's call your landlord about it. Oh, man. I can't do. There's nothing you can do about that. That's how radiators work. Psst, they can drain them. I don't need them to drain. Does I need it them clank? To, Does it clank away? It clinks a little bit, but there's it more a, just does that. There's a knob. We could turn off the knob. Brother, not one, not one knob on a radiator has ever worked i don't agree i think you can shut it down when will this shit be obsolete and they'll like have to do something else considering that thing is probably from the before the great depression happened probably never Uh, that's what i mean like that is even just the design of it is so old looking i've always wondered what is the what is the little butt plug on the top right what is that thing it's like a a reading lamp it's a reading lamp that you would have in like a business (laughs) class seat on air france (laughs) is that another knob I thought you were talking about the thing in the middle. I don't know. I'm so hot. I need to take this flannel off. All right. Well, we can end it anyway. We're already at a minute and 10. Why? Everyone's having 10. a good time. We're having a good time. You going to end it prematurely like that? Wow. Sass, you want to end it now? Bruh. Y'all are trying to get me to work overtime? We got to. I mean, we have a. We, have a we got to go back to the office and I got to eat. We got to go back. What, what should we eat? I don't know. We should go to get food somewhere. Would you oh, guys want to sit down somewhere and eat? Potentially. We have time to kill. Where, where are we going to go, though? Get some slop? Let's slop it up. No, I don't want to get slop. I want to get a nice, something nice. What's a place that where we could have like a ooh, like a cut of fish, Francis? Oh, my ooh, God. You guys are going so huge. huge. I haven't eaten today. All I've had is half a Quest bar. No, you were eating other shit. You were eating oh, and a bag of I had a bag of smart food. Yeah. Or skinny pop. Mm. And so you had something else, too. Nope. No? Mm. You had a conversation with Dave. True, I did. Wow. So this is the nice. last episode of Son of a Boy Dad. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's been real. It's Just been play. a real run. Should I play way too much? Yeah, you're out of fucking pocket. Seen, heard. I gotta stop playing like that. Unacceptable. What are the other senses? Touched. Touched. Blessed. Tasted. Go Jets. Seen. I guess we could do a little ball recap of the weekend. The Patriots should not be allowed to play in the NFL. I genuinely think, and I I know this is always a thing where they're like they're like a, a, a NFL fo- a college football team. They're like, 
You know how people are always like, well, what if like Michigan or Alabama went up against fucking a bad NFL team? I think the Patriots might be the first NFL team that like I think Michigan actually would have a good chance beating them. Mac, dude, dude, like, or, or not or, even like Georgia, or like Georgia. Who's the quarterback on Georgia right now? I don't even know. It used to be Stetson Bennett for the last couple of years. Now he's he can't even start in the league, or he's like he's not even on. He he was like drafted by the Rams. He's not even on a roster, and he won multiple championships for them. And he can't Crazy even make a roster. Works. So it makes me think that you're wrong about but this. But dude, there's got to be a there's a college quarterback. I don't know enough about college football. All I know is that there's got to be a college quarterback right now who is significantly better than Mac Jones. It's crazy how there are quarterbacks who play for national championship teams and then just disappear in the NFL. And then you have guys like Justin Herbert who come out of yeah. like the Onondaga Reservation League. <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't that what... Playing for like some Native American... You totally. Know, or like Tom Brady was splitting time at Michigan. Was Justin wasn't Herbert, Josh Allen on like a shitty... Wasn't he went to what, Wyoming? Yeah, Justin he, Herbert is... From from the Waxahachie tribe, yeah. and he played off of uh, a, a reservation in Texas. That's right. He's a native. He's a native. He's got thirteen kids, and each of them has two kids. Yeah, he's Zach American Wilson Indian went to BYU. Josh Allen played for the Police Benevolence Association against the Little Sisters of the Poor. It was a co-ed flag football <laughs> league, and he didn't even play quarterback. He was a fucking defensive end, just running around tackling women. And in order to play, you had to bring like a dozen muffins to sell (laughs) to try to renovate the gym. Yeah, he was selling. There were ads on their T-shirts for plumbing companies and shit like that. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, dude, I'll say it does suck. It it sucks that Mac Jones is this bad because I've been Mac Jones' number one supporter all season. No, for one week, and he got his jersey. Some say you touched him with the kiss of of death. I was his number one supporter. Even this week, dude, I was like, dude. It's the offense. It, he doesn't have anyone to go to. And then they put Zappy in, and he just runs down the sideline, and they score. It's like, that just, well, A, that showed how bad the Giants are, too. But at the same time, it also showed how bad Mac Jones is playing. It's Not crazy Mac. how you guys can't accept that your team is just bad. Well, they are bad. I mean, they're the worst team. The but Panthers like, would beat the Patriots Giants, easily. The fans easily. are like, yeah, the Giants are just bad. They're just going to be bad this year. It is what it is. We'll wait but they got next Saquon, year. so it's like it evens out. No. When you got a good guy like that, dude, I think there's some hope. That's Nobody's like, holding on to hope for a running back. They're like, oh, the running back's going to take... Like, they need a, a full, like, revamp of how they do things for the Giants. Now, honestly, it's lucky for the Patriots that they lost, so hopefully the Patriots can get some talent when they get rid of that fucking bum Bill Belichick. They got to get rid of Belichick. Loser. But the Patriots need to redo everything, too. And I, uh, from, from my lips to fucking Robert Kraft's Eagles are going to get rid of that thug coach that you guys have? What are you talking about? That goddamn about? punk bastard. <laughs> the Italian-American hero? What's his name? Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni. Sirianni. Yeah, that guy's a punk. How is he a punk? He's got no respect. Who's he supposed to respect? The goddamn punk. Who's he supposed to respect? The other teams? Did you guys see the the players on uh, on the Bills like going into the stands basically trying that. to like uh, uh, shove one of the Eagles yeah, guys? Yeah, I saw the, it. And it, it made sense chest. because the Bills were supposed to win, but they didn't pay Vegas enough to fucking get the dub. You oh know what I liked God. about that fan was that he didn't back down. No, yeah, he, he stood on business like, like the kid this? with the Grinch. Did you see this player? Oh, ooh, ow. All the comments are like, yeah, he should have fallen over like yeah. uh, that fucking pussy Josh Allen and pretended he got hurt the way that Josh Allen barely got breathed I on feel and like he acted thing, like he got fucking melted. What? Dude, there's nothing wrong with doing what he did there. That's what you're supposed... He uses the rules to his advantage. That's a smart move. Same, same, thing, with, same with Sirianni. Same thing with the tush push. Same with, like it should how be is it illegal. the same thing? One it is should actually be illegal. physical football and the it other one is... It should be illegal, but they're using it, it to their illegal? advantage that it's not illegal. Make a re- make an argument why it should because be illegal. Because it's a cheat code. How is it a cheat code? Because they do it better than other teams? Why don't other teams do it? Because they, they respect football enough to not do it. <sighs> and the Bills... I mean, dude, the Bills don't do it. What an absolute dunce you are. <laughs> dude, you've exposed yourself as The Bills as a don't casual. do it. Dude, Josh Allen... So Josh Allen, strong enough. Josh Allen has what? He has like the most rushing touchdowns of the season. Josh... or Jalen Hurts. I mean, Jalen Hurts does. Yeah. Not a single good rushing touchdown. What about the game winner? Yeah, dude, because the Bills, they were called off. Oh, they were called off. McDermott had to be like, guys, I'm sorry. I know you guys wanted this dub, but our season's over. We have, we have bigger fish to fry. Someone's talking shit in the stands. Let's go fight him. The refs paid us a billion dollars to, to throw this game. Well, blaming the refs is truly the lowest thing a football <laughs> yeah. fan can and do. And I'm not even, I'm not even a, a, I wouldn't even say I'm a diehard Bills fan. I'm more of a diehard Patriots You're fan. You're more of a fair weather everything fan. You were an Eagles fan last year and a Bills I'm a fan Patriots last year. Fan. I was not. I was neither. 
Why I did you thought wear I it? was. I thought I was. Well, how does that work? You, it's just you think you are, and then you watch the Patriots crumble, and you and you break down to tears every Sunday. We should have uh, we should have ended this uh, when you originally said because you've done nothing but dig yourself a hole. And I have not yourself. dig myself a hole. I think. I mean, I yeah, Sirianni is a great coach, but he doesn't stop that. He's a thug. Thug. He's a thug. Trash talking Chiefs fans. That's coded racism against Italian Americans. <laughs> Bro, Italians are thugs. He thinks he's in fucking Goodfellas out there. Brother, you you keep on saying this Italians are thugs. You you wind up with the fucking horse head next to you in your little fucking bed over there. Yeah, Fine by me. You'd probably want to fuck I'd it. Fuck it after yeah, yeah. 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 But which hole would you fuck it in? Both. Would you fuck it in the head, the hole where the it got cut neck off? Hole or the mouth hole? Or the, yeah. Definitely the neck hole. Yeah, because you couldn't handle the teeth. Like a real this, Italian. This American. podcast is definitely gonna get demonetized. <laughs> There's no way. I'm. So, I would be surprised if YouTube even lets us upload this episode. <laughs> so we're asking the hard questions that people aren't ready to the say. The name of this episode is going to be Nick or Nick Sirianni is a thug, in all caps. And Roan had and also also I'll, sp- I'll sprinkle in a little insider information. Roan bet the Bills to win last night. Ooh, which you're is want to cut it before I show my actual bet slip. Crazy. You're going to want to cut it before well, yeah, I show you can my show bet the slip. wins. I'll show the. Roan sh- said yesterday at halftime. He goes, "I did not bet the Eagles." That's all I heard. But I don't think he bet the Bills. And I did bet the brother. Eagles. I know Roan. He's got action on every game. If he didn't bet the Eagles, he bet someone. Eagles. It's not going to focus, and I think the camera just died, so we're not going to be able to get it to focus. That's not at a. That's not a. What's it called? Ooh, look at all these wins. Win, win, win. Yeah, you guys win, cleaned up yesterday. Win. Loss, win, 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 load more. Up. We had the same fucking bet. Load more, you made win, a bunch of win, win. And they all lost. What? The only bet that I won was the Gabe Davis one. Oh, really? Yeah. My, my last loss was the Eagles against the Chiefs over. Jesus Christ, bro. Am I fucking nice like that? I must be so fucking that was one, nice. That was a week ago off. today. <laughs> That's so long ago. That ain't even a hot streak, brother. I'm on the you cold. You didn't hear how many times I said win? I heard win like five times, maybe. I was like, I was reading fucking attendance at a Vietnamese school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. Go Jets. I mean, dude, I'm not saying I know the Eagles are great. They're probably the best team in the NFL. All I'm saying is the Jets are right up there with them because they exposed them for Facts. the frauds that they are. Facts. All good teams win every single game. That's known. I'll be in Toronto this weekend. Tickets oh, shit, at FrancisEllis.com. Really? Providence the following weekend. Also tickets at FrancisEllis.com. I got nothing. I'm gonna be in Louisville, but no one on this no one in this podcast list is from Louisville, so that's not true. Jack Harlow, bro. That's where Jack Harlow's from? Duh. They also pronounce it Louisville. 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 Like a Louisville slugger. I'm gonna be in Louisville. Louisville. I'm gonna be in Louisville in two weeks. Sometimes on the Louisville slugger, sometimes right. with the ball. Thank you guys for listening. Goodbye.